Hey, what's going on hackers? Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Um, today I wanted to share some of my um, preferred tools within the Flare suite. I do have a video about um, my malware development tools, but I figured making a video about the malware analysis tools could help some people. Um, so this is just kind of my general um, favorite Flare tools uh, that, you know, come with Flare. Um, I mean, some of them may not come with Flare, you may have to install. Uh, some of them in case Flare doesn't install them, but I'm 90% sure that pretty much all of these are on Flare. Uh, anyway, let's actually get into the video. So um, for some static analysis stuff, I'm going to kind of just point some stuff out. Um, static analysis easily is floss.exe. Floss is a uh, really cool program that allows you to um, pull out strings from different programs, if that makes sense. Um, one cool thing, I guess the prompt I'm using here also is Commander. Uh, Commander is just like the default, uh, like terminal, I guess, if you will, command prompt for um, Flare. Uh, but you can use something else if that is preferred, um, but like PowerShell or, you know, just the normal command prompt. Um, but yeah, Commander is pretty cool. Um, it has some nice functionality. Um, and on top of that, you can run a lot of the cool tools that come with uh, Flare like Vloss and such. Um, another command prompt I like as well is the native tools command prompt. So if I search up the native tools, which is x64. If you guys have seen like any of my malware development videos, you have seen this command prompt before. I use it all the time for compiling malware and all this other stuff, but it does have some good purposes in malware analysis as well, because it can actually, um, you know, let you use the same tools I used to develop. So if you want to dump information from a uh, DLL or uh, run the DLL or um, compile some code or whatever the heck it might be. Um, this is also another good command prompt to use. There's two versions of it, x64 for 64-bit software and then an x86 for 32-bit software. Um, and then, you know, of course, Commander right behind that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Commander, so FOSS.exe and then some of the other default utilities that come with the native tools command prompt is just awesome. So those are some definitely one or some definite ones to put out there. Um, on top of that, I have PE Studio Pro. I'm very happy to own a PE Studio. This is actually a gift from a friend, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, PE Studio is an amazing, amazing uh, tool. Let's see if I have like a a sample I can throw at here. Um, here, let's do video.exe.mal. Um, there you go. So yeah, you guys can see um, it is going to do some pretty cool analysis stuff on it. Uh, you can see there's going to be things from the MITRE framework, um, stuff from virus tool. I think I need to add my API key in order to uh, have it do some of those other things. Uh, but there's not too much that separates PE Studio um, Pro from the default, but having the Pro is really nice because you get to, to see some more information in, in a cleaner format, some other things like the grouping and um, some other things, but yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I enjoy um, using it, being able to get some more initial analysis on some sort of program that I'm analyzing or some, some sort of malware that I'm analyzing. So yeah, B Studio Pro is definitely uh, one of the other ones that I enjoy. Um, Detect it easy. I actually don't use it as much as I should, but it is an amazing tool. Um, it, it can help you quickly, you know, analyze a lot of different things. Um, even you can have like signatures in here as well, some other cool stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, to take it easy. I'm not honestly like super familiar with it. I haven't used it as much as I probably should. Um, but I just do know it is like an incredible tool that can really benefit you guys within uh, your actual day-to-day -day analysis if you're doing that type of thing day-to-day. Um, yeah, anyway, those are like the main, main static analysis ones for basic static analysis. Anyway, um, I'll get more advanced as we go. Um, but for dynamic analysis, there's only one, like or one or two key ones that I use potently. Um, it would be Procmon and like Wireshark. <laughs> and then like, as I kind of go through, I'll use any of the other like system channel suite or whatever. Um, but yeah, Procmon is a process monitor. Um, I use this in my DLL hijacking video. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can. Um, but yeah, really, really cool stuff. Um, this allows you to monitor processes. Um, you can get a really cool idea of the process tree. So you can see um, child spot 
uh, child processes that are being spawned. You can see the command line arguments. You can see um, the pass that's reaching out to. It's super helpful. You can even see the TCP request that's making. Um, another good TCP uh, program as well as TCP view. Um, let's see if we can run that. Yes. Uh, TCP view, sorry to blind your eyes. I wonder if there's a dark mode. Uh, that's not the time to look for a dark mode, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, TCP view is also a really good one because it helps you see any of the outbound connections it's making. So if there's like a, a reverse shell you're analyzing, you can quickly see what ports it's reaching out to or addresses and stuff like that. Um, the last one I'll use is Wireshark, um, but I usually use Wireshark on my Remnux box rather than my, uh, uh, you know, analysis box. But again, I mean, Wireshark, it's it's here if you guys want to use it. Um, this is on, it's funny because my malware analysis network is called uh, Squid Penis. So if you look at my malware analysis reports, you'll actually see the word Squid Penis somewhere in there. Um, in fact, if I go on uh, the information, you guys can see, if I go on Nick, boom, right there. Uh, beautiful, love it, very professional. Um, <laughs> so for more uh, advanced stuff, like if you're doing advanced static, there's two tools I, I just, I tend to go for, Ghidra and Cutter. Open up Cutter first, because um, it, it's gonna be a little bit nicer. Um, let's go ahead and go to samples. I'll just use this uh, you know, video.exe, open, open. All right, cool. So it's going to do some analysis. It's going to disassemble the program, do all this other cool stuff, blah, 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 yada, yada. Um, cool. So this is this nice little dashboard. Uh, let's see if we can search for the main function in here. Uh, it was not able to find the main function, it looks like. Let's go to the entry. Um, here, can we look at the graph? There you go. So here's the uh, graph, right? So this is uh, just an overview of the execution flow of the program, which is pretty cool. Um, it gives you a good uh, visual on the, you know, how the program's, I guess, you know, execution flow is. It's really helpful for uh, the advanced uh, static analysis phase of your malware analysis. Um, so it's definitely a good tool uh, to have. Um, on top of this, um, for more, not as much for malware analysis, though I actually could use it more, uh, but for definitely for reverse engineering, um, Ghidra is one of my more favorite tools. Um, I don't really use Ghidra too much in the, uh, what do you call it? In the uh, virtual machine here, I, I have a copy on my host machine that I'll use for like reverse engineering and stuff like that. But again, um, here actually, I'll quickly pull it up just so that way you guys can see Ghidra. Uh, you can see some of the tools um, that you'll like, you'll see me be using here. Let's go on like uh, passcode. We'll lift the spawn. Okay, we'll just do it like this. But yeah, you guys can see again, this is kind of what Ghidra looks like. Um, again, I use it on my main machine more than I do on the uh, virtual machine. But again, it is an amazing, amazing tool to use. Um, I've been having way too much fun with it the past week or so. Um, so I'm sure you guys will enjoy it too. Um, yeah, we can close out of that and go back to Flare. So for the last tool that I'll kind of be talking about in this video um, will be x64 dvg now one cool thing is people some i guess some people don't know that there's a launcher for it so if you just want to bookmark like the launcher and then be able to choose um which one you want to use you can do that um i think it's called like x96 dvg or something like that um but yeah so i can se select with the uh select between the two excuse me um but yeah we'll go on x64 right here and x64 dvg is easily one of my favorite tools of just all time um, i use it so 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 much for analysis and development both um so yeah it is a incredible tool but here it is in the actual virtual machine of flare vm um, you guys can totally pull this in play around with it i have plenty of videos uh, where we use this tool i think we used it to make uh show code trojans before and uh, maybe some other things that i can't recall uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely some cool stuff and uh, 
an amazing tool that you guys should look into using while exploring the, the vast amounts of utilities here on Flare. Now, um, some other things I wanted to just bring up as some honorable mentions, I guess, as like the text editors is, um, first of all, VS Code um, in Visual Studio. I have uh, just some basic configurations, it's nothing crazy or anything, uh, but it's just to do some good analysis. And one of the more important extensions I have here is the Yara extension. Uh, the Yara extension will kind of give you a good way to write Yara rules of different, you know, um, programs that you're analyzing. So you can actually write, you know, detection rules and signatures and whatever the heck um, with Yara. So Yara is really, really nice to have. Um, so you can actually write those rules on the malware you're analyzing. So that's easily one of the more uh, important extensions that I have in here. So if you guys want to kind of take note of that, you guys can if you want. Um, Another thing too is I just have Nobad++ so I can do quick notes, take notes of addresses and um, other things and I have tabs too so I can uh, keep track of anything I'm working with, whatever um, it may be. So Nobad++ is just a really good notepad. Um, I, I don't, I have it in place of the normal notepad. I'm not doing anything crazy on here. It's just, just for note taking really maybe some light code editing, um, but that's about it. And then of course, HXD, which is the hex editor. Um, you've probably seen this the most um, among a lot of my uh, malware development videos that or X64 DVG. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an amazing tool. Um, it allows you to actually convert um, things like shell code into other languages like C or C sharp. I think if I click on file, yeah, it export and you can kind of see some of the options it has here. Uh, you can do visual basic .NET, Java, C, Pascal, HTML, some other cool things. Um, so if you guys want to export like shell code that you may find into a C program to, in order to work with it, um, you totally, totally can, um, which is awesome. One last tool thing I guess I'll quickly bring up um, if, is the Spice uh, client. So basically um, Spice allows you to interact with virtual machines in Kimu. Um, and if you guys are on Linux using the Kimu host, um, you guys can use this uh, Spice guest tools right here in order to copy and paste outside of the VM and drag files in. So if I have, let's say files, we find this notepad.binary and we want to load it into here, you can just drag and drop it like that. And you can see it's in our virtual machine now. So um, it's a really helpful tool that I installed into uh, the, the, the virtual machine. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share some of the tools that I like to use within Flare. Um, I'm sure I've missed a bunch of them uh, that are incredible because there's there's an entire suite of just amazing, incredible, incredible tools. Um, but those are one of the more like the more common ones that I find myself uh, using the most. So I want to share those with you, and hopefully they can become beneficial to you guys. Uh, but that's going to be it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Happy hacking.